Hi everybody, this is Joe, the CEO of Leela, coming to you live from the home office here again in Malaysia on lockdown still. And shout out to our partners in Australia, Kinetic Sports Science, our distributor there, and of course Roger Fabry Speed Academy, one of our great on the ground partners training and using Exigen in the uh, beautiful location of Australia. Uh, shout out to them and, and talk to them if you're in that area and you're interested to learn more. Today, uh, this video is really just about getting you to understand how to start your Exigen experience. It's quite simple. We get asked a lot, where do I start? Which piece do I need? Well, first thing you have to know, you don't have to buy a full suit. There is literally a sort of an introduction product that will get you into your activity. Uh, and it's a great way to start because it's simple. It's affordable. It'll teach you about wearable resistance, but most importantly, it works. You don't need a lot to already see a performance benefit. So take our advice, start simple. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna walk you through six key sports. We'll come out later with more sports, but our six key sports right now that we're gonna introduce a uh, base product for are golf, tennis, combat, sprinting, which you use for team sports, running as in the jogging and triathlon market, and the last one is a general fitness piece that you can use if that's your goal and you're just trying to keep fit at home. So first sport we're talking about now is running. Running as in the jogging and the endurance market. Triathlon, running, ultra distance, cross trail running. Number one piece you want to start with is your calf sleeve, okay? Most of you already know what calf sleeves are because you use some sort of compression product. Exigen has that compression benefit, but its benefit is far more than that. Adding that light bit of resistance into that lower limb puts a lot of great stress into the muscles used in running while you're fatiguing. That's what makes it really unique. So runners, get a pair of those calf sleeves, get started on that experience, and watch that time drop in three to six weeks. All right, for you team sport athletes, you sprinters, anybody focused on short-term, long-term acceleration, speed mechanics, movement agility, whether you call it spark or whatever type of movement term you use, just like those runners, the gateway and introductory piece in the exigen line is the calf sleeve. Getting that light load into that lower body for your coordination drills, your tempo drills, your speed, your acceleration, your movement, and your quality of movement, it's critical. It works. It's easy to introduce, and the other thing is, it allows you to recover quick because of the high intensity nature of that movement. Calf sleeves, speed, start. All right, combat sport athletes. I'm one of you, I'm an amateur boxer, and unfortunately with all this mess going on, our uh, fight series coming up at the end of this month has been canceled. But never mind, I'm still training at home and I train with my oxygen a lot. Uh, introductory pieces for combat sports, it depends a little bit on what your focus is. Is it legs? or is it arms? Ultimately, one of the first pieces we still suggest is the calf sleeve. Uh, attack, in and out, shuffling, moving, shooting, whatever it might be, endurance, footwork, is still kind of critical. And as most of you know, if you're a striker, your footwork is your foundation. Calf sleeves allow you to get that little bit of load into that lower leg and really work movement. And that speed of movement and balance is really important. But the other piece that a lot of our martial arts are, unit, are using, especially if you're in the combat area, like boxing or striking, is your Forearm sleeve. Forearm sleeves provide that light resistance that's really going to help you, one, focus on movement, but two, add that little bit of speed, that little bit of power with the load to really, really give you a performance benefit. And it's one you're going to notice in your fight fairly quickly. So starting out, combat, calf sleeve for your footwork or kicks. If you want to focus on the upper body, get started in the forearms, pow. All right, for those of you playing golf, amateur golfers, the recommended starting piece is your, again, forearm sleeve. One, uh, by putting the light load into the arms, the club stays the same as the one you're gonna use. It allows you to keep your swing mechanics without losing them. And it's a simple way, again, to introduce wearable resistance into the golf swing. For those of you wondering a little bit more about, what about the ground mechanics? You know, the rotation mechanics, everything starts from the ground and you're right. And there are next levels to that, but stay tuned, watch our golf video and training video and why we start here, and then what the next sort of progressions are over time with that. For tennis, it's very simple. Ask yourself, what are you working on right now? What's your primary area? Are you working on your footwork and your movement on the court? Are you working on what's happening with the racket and your movement at the arm? If you're working on footwork, whether it be acceleration, lateral agility, footwork, then we recommend start with the calf sleeves. Again, that's the piece that's gonna give you your bang for buck. It's gonna get that light load into your on-court movement and really accelerate everything you're doing in your setup and your balance for your shots. But if you're comfortable there and you really think that what you're trying to do now is work a lot more on specific stroke mechanics and a little more power and authority in some of that, could be a backhand weakness, a forehand weakness, then we recommend you get into that forearm sleeve. 
Get that loading into the arm, not the racket, so you can play with the same specificity, but really sort of improve the general mechanic in the arm. Think about that, it depends on your goal, but start with one or the other. Okay, and lastly, uh, next activity I'll tell you about is just people that are really focused on fitness, whether it's home fitness, but body weight, calisthenic, CrossFit, uh, a lot of the new trend in just general home fitness and movement with your body, and you're trying to add a little extra intensity, but specific movement intensity, we recommend the top. Top's a great piece. You're gonna have a lifetime of use out of this in so many ways, but it also gives you versatility for your movement goals as well. You might be working on posture support. You might be working on low back issues and low back pain. You might be working on rotations and core stability. You might be working just on core and abs. The top gives you a lot of versatility as well, but still it adds that resistance to body weight movements, to fitness, to running, to boosting calories and getting that extra energy and intensity without disrupting what you feel, without disrupting the way you move. And that's the critical aspect of the entire Exogen line. Don't change what you're doing, just change what you wear. So that's how you get started on your Exogen experience. Select the right piece for your activity based on the guidelines we've given you. It's an affordable way to learn about wearable resistance and get a direct performance improvement quickly and simply. We've explained to you about the product as we go in the next series, what we're gonna be doing is now we're gonna be talking to you about how do I load? Because the product's the base start and the loads come with it. But we're gonna teach you how do I put loading and resistance now into my movement? Because the real key is when you start getting that light weight into your movement, a lot of great things happen. And the secret is by starting with our uh, initial guidelines like this, you're not gonna confuse the body. You're gonna keep your movement skill and your movement activity the way you want it. Like we always say here, don't change what you're doing, just change what you wear. For those of you who know me, yeah, you're okay.